So you're going to start with your image uploaded and add your registration marks. I'm going to cut this all up in one piece, so I'll put a registration mark on each side. This will just make it easier to line all the colors up later. If you try to use a contour button and it's not welded together, you see here on your layers panel you have three different layers. The contour button isn't going to show up. You need to weld everything together to have that option. Once it's welded together, you're going to want to click hide all contours. It'll take a minute to load it just because it's a bigger piece and there's a lot of areas to contour. When you click hide all contours, it's going to pick the biggest piece to hide. It's selecting this piece of flower on the right, but you also want to click this piece on the left. If you don't click the left hand side, you're going to end up with that flower on just the one side like you had earlier. So if that's the case, you want to go back into the contour button. It'll just load again. And click on this layer up here to turn off the other piece on the other side. And you also want to make sure that you select your registration marks for every layer. So the first piece you have is going to look like this. You're going to want to duplicate that and then leave just the registration marks. I find it's just easier to work from the registration marks than trying to mess with the hide and show button. So you turn off both these layers and now you're left with just a pair of registration marks. So I'm going to keep one set up there for later for the next color and turn this into the green leaves now. Click the contour button and this time you're going to select everything that's all the same color. You can start with the leaves or the flowers, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to choose the leaves. You can highlight it this way and go one at a time over them. Or you can also select them from the layers panel when it eventually catches up and loads. It's easy enough to see which ones are the leaves since most of these ones look like petals and all the leaf ones are really thin. As you click and select them, you'll see them changing color on the screen. That's another way to know that you're actually picking pieces that are leaves and not the petals. At the end, if you're missing pieces, you can always go in by hand, but because they're so tiny, I'm just going to keep choosing it. Now this one, when I click it, you can see that this petal here changes color, so you don't want that one on, that's not a piece of leaf. If for some reason you do have a piece of petal later, it's okay, you can just open the contour button again and turn it on or off. You're just going to want to go through and select all the little pieces of leaves. That last one I turned on with a piece of flower. I don't know if you've noticed, but this panel goes from the smallest at the bottom to the biggest at the top. It'll always select the top biggest piece whenever you do the hide all in the first step. So now you have the green. You change the color to green and you can line it up over here. Now take your registration marks and do the same thing for all the petals. Again, because there is so many things to contour, it'll take a little while opening it. The petals are a little bigger, so you might be able to click right in the contour box, but you can also use the side panel if you prefer. I find it's a little bit faster. That's a piece of leaf that I missed, so I'll go back in and add that after.
I'm just going to get the rest of them over here with the mouse. Now it's up to you if you want to put this centerpiece the same color or a different color, like yellow. Uh, for now, I'm just going to leave them a different color so I can put them yellow or orange. So if you wanted to restart and you didn't have an extra set of registration marks at this point, you could just do what we did the first time. Click hide all contours. Turn off the top two layers, or in this case, just the one because that's the only side that's selected. If this is the only thing selected, it won't let you turn it off you're going to need to select something else first, like these registration marks, and then you'll be able to turn off that top layer. So this time I'm going to try to select just those tiny pieces. At this point, since there's so few of them, I would probably just put them orange and leave it orange to go with the rest of the design. But that's how you would add color into a picture like this.